Whistle me up a memory. Whistle me back where I want to be. Whistle a tune that'll carry me to Tombstone Territory. Tombstone, Arizona Territory. October 27, 1886. won't be here until tomorrow. Well, I'd like to rest up before a job. You got any baggage? I'm wearing it. Clay, look who just flew in from Tucson. Oh, I didn't know Caswell was that scared. Maybe he's just being practical. Young Harper gets in town tomorrow. He's awful fast on the draw. So is Caswell. I've got horses at the livery stable. Caswell is 55, Harper is 24. If he were coming in town to kill me, I'd probably hire myself a gun, too. Might do better to see me first. Introduce me to your friend. Chuck Ashley, Sheriff Hollister. You passing through? Stop by for a visit. You get a short one. We don't want gunfighters in Tombstone. Man's entitled to protect himself as he sees fit. Just mind your own business, Hollister. Your feud with the Harpers has reduced both families to the last man. Why don't you drop it? I'll add to Harper and see what it gets you. Ashley, one wrong move, no matter how slight, I'll slap you behind bars. Is it against the law to spit in Tombstone? We'll be if you do it. An actual account from the pages of my newspaper, the Tombstone Epitaph. This is the way it happened, in the town too tough to die. Tombstone Territory. October 28, 1886. It was trouble that came to Tombstone on the following morning, and its name was Jeff Harper. Hello, Jeff. Still here, huh, Sheriff? Not wearing guns, I see. That's right. Jail broke me of the habit. Sam Caswell will be happy to hear that. He thinks you've come back to make good your threat to kill him. What do you think? Well, I figure... Time makes a man smarter. You've had five years. So is Caswell. Is he any smarter or just older? You just mind your P's and Q's. Nobody will bother you. Step out of line. I'll have to jump you. Well, I see the Harpers are still marked no good in Tombstone. You both paid a price. Caswell was laid up for a year after your ambush. You went to jail. The way I figure it, that puts Caswell four years up on me. You had fair warning, Jeff. You've done your duty, Sheriff. Now let me do mine, huh? Sneak a loop, Rafe. Ten dollars says he's dead by morning. Twenty says Caswell gets it first. You're on. <laughs> Jeff! Jeff Harp, welcome back. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah. to see you. Good to see you. Welcome oh, back, Jeff. Thank you, Joe. Set him up, Joe, and make a double sure. for Jeff. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's you. been five years since I've even smelled this <laughs> ball. Here's to our friend Jeff, huh? Here to you, Jeff. You've been. 
Wow. Oh, boy. I didn't know I had any friends left. <laughs> Why? Why? I've always been fond of you, Jeff. You know that. Hey, Caswell's been getting right prosperous since you were away. <laughs> Land, cattle, horses. He's done right smart by himself. I guess you're gonna change his luck, aren't you? <laughs> Look towards the door. His name's Ashley, a gunfighter from Dodge City. Caswell brought him into town yesterday. He don't give you half a chance, does he? Fill it up, Joe. Go easy, Jeff. I said fill it up. Do as he says, Joe. I'm paying. You're a real friend, aren't you? You know, things are really going to the dogs around here. I can remember when a man didn't hire a two-bit gunfighter to do his dirty work. You know, boys, I... I met a lot of two-bit gunfighters in jail. Tall ones, short ones, fat ones. Skinny ones. All kinds. All kinds, and they all had one thing in common. There wasn't a man among them. Barton. Buy the loudmouth a drink. I buy my own. I said buy the loudmouth a drink. You bought it. You drink it. Let's see how much of a man you are. Give him a gun, somebody. I'll take care of you when I get good and ready. I say you're ready right now. You give him a gun. Don't worry, Jeff. You can take him. Hold it. You build your reputation by killing men after they've been drinking? Easy, Sheriff. I've got no quarrel with you yet. Oh, is that a threat? Well, now, why should I threaten you? Star, no star. Just alike. Hired guns, that's all we are. The whole thing's a mistake, Clay. Elmer bought Jeff a few drinks too many. Why blame me? I was only being friendly. Yeah. Hey, we all know you, Elmer. You're man's best friend. All right, Jeff, let's go. You're just not happy unless you're pushing some way around, are you? Boy, you sure make it easy for a man to dislike you. Now start moving. Harper. Next time we meet, we're gun. And leave your nursemaid at home. Questions on who's a man and who isn't? Let me buy the man a drink. What did you bring me here for? Want to show you something? Boy, I got a headache. Yeah? Maybe this will cure it. I'm your relatives, Jeff. Pete, Joe, Mike. One of the Caswells. Lamb and Bert, Dan, Eddie. This is a particularly interesting one. Terry Wayne, 1881. He wasn't either a Harper or a Caswell. He came out here from St. Louis with his wife and two kids to make his fortune. Had a job with the Caswells. Two days later, he was killed in a Harper ambush. He didn't even know what he died for. Is that the tradition you've come back for? Don't you think I'm sick of this whole thing? I don't want to kill Caswell. I just came back to sell my land. I want to go to California where no 
Nobody's ever heard of the Caswells or the Harpers. Everybody starts pushing me around. Even you. I can only act on what a man does and says. You still think I'm a killer? Caswell that needs reassuring. Oh, no. No, not as long as he's got Ashley. And the feud goes on and on. You can stop. How? By telling Caswell just what you told me. You wouldn't believe me. Look, he's stubborn, but he's not stupid. You can get through to him if you really want to. Well, uh, I'll give it a try. That's close enough. Take it easy, Sam. You want to talk, not shoot, put your gun away. Stay where you are. Speak your piece and then get off my property. Caswell, who told you I was coming back here to kill you? You did. Five years ago. Everyone knows the Harpers always make good their threats. Do you ever figure that maybe everyone could be wrong? You're a Harper. You're a Caswell. What's that got in us? It'll get you some lead if you don't clear out. I wouldn't live in the same town with you. I just came back here to sell my land and get as far away from you as possible. I'm not stopping you. Yeah, but your gunfighter is. Ashley, what about him? Trying to force Jeff into a shootout. That wasn't in our agreement. I only hired him for protection. Protection from what? A man who hasn't touched a gun in five years? Or did you think they let me practice in jail? I never liked Ashley when I saw him. Well, that puts a different light on things, don't it? Better get rid of them before there's serious trouble, Sam. All right. Just the same, I'm wearing a gun from now on. And I'll keep on wearing it as long as you're in Tombstone. Don't worry about Ashley. I'll ride into town with you right now and handle him. No offense, boys, just practicing. Man could get killed that way, huh? Yes, that's a fact, isn't it? Drink? Sheriff and I got things straightened out with Harper, so I won't be needing you anymore. Here's your fee. You can count it. You wouldn't cheat me. Just drop it on the bureau. At a nice town here, Sheriff. There's a westbound stage leaving this afternoon. And one tomorrow afternoon, one the day after, and one the day after that. Why the hurry? Look, Ashley, there's nothing to keep you here. You're wrong. Both of you. See, Harper said things that no man's ever said to me. Who's was the whiskey talking? I don't see it that way. I don't see it that way at all. See, until I get things settled up with Harper, I'm not leaving Tombstone. Some people with that attitude have stayed here permanently, up on Boot Hill. The afternoon of October 28, 1886, marked the end of the Harper Caswell feud and the beginning of more trouble. Well, don't let me disturb you. You're not. Just thought you might like to see a proof of next week's headline. Sheriff Hollister ends Harper Caswell feud. 
That'd be a better headline in the making. Now, Clay, I can't be resetting type every half an hour. Hmm. You seen Jerry Harper around? And he was with Elmer Fern, trying to make a deal on his land. Harris, do me a favor, will you? You name it. Keep an eye on Harper. You expecting trouble from him? No, but he may walk into it. Well, I thought the feud was over. It is. But Chuck Ashley's still in town. Let me know for a sign of trouble. All right. Hollister? Yeah? Aren't you going to do anything about Ashley? He hasn't committed a crime yet. What are you going to do, wait until he kills somebody? I'll take care of Ashley when I think it's the proper time. I'm telling you, the time is now. I'm getting real tired of you, Caswell. You make a mess and then you expect other people to clean it up for you. That's your job, Hollister. That's what you're paid for. Clay! I can recommend that gun highly. It's a veteran. Pick it up. Ten bucks, Harper refuses. Ten bucks says he don't. What are you waiting for? Your nurse made to come pick it up for you? I've heard it said that the Harpers are a fighting family. Are you sure your name is Harper? Leave it away! Turn around, slowly. You see, your nursemaid got here in time. I said turn. Give me a gun. There's no law on Tombstone that says a man can't carry his gun. There is now for you. I get $500 a job. What's your salary? I'm waiting for your gun. It always seems to narrow down to you and me, doesn't it, Sheriff? Topper I want, not a substitute. Get it, Jeff. Yeah, that one. Your luck can't last. That westbound stage is due in half an hour. You're going to be on it, as my guest. I don't leave without my gun. You get him at the stage. That means that I've got 30 minutes to make my mind up, right? I don't care how long you think about it, but you're going to be on that stage. Well, boys, I've got a pocket full of silver and 30 minutes to spend it in. Who'll join me in the Oriental? I was going to pick up that gun. I know. I saw you go for it. So did I, Jeff. Some people will say that I saw you coming, that it was just an empty gesture. It doesn't matter what they say. Yes, it does. It does to me. You've left me no choice, Sheriff. I'm going to have to prove them wrong. I watched him die, Sheriff. Your eye was a big man, a big laugh, a big capacity for life. He used to say, when you die, die well. He died well. He took on three Caswells all by himself. A can die well and still die for the wrong things. Well, pride isn't one of them. I can't live without pride. Yeah. Neither could they, and not one of them lived past the age of 40. You're not going to talk me out of this, Sheriff. Jeff, you haven't handled a gun in five years. You take on Ashley, that's not bravery, that's suicide. Well, yeah, maybe you mean well. But I don't need a nursemaid anymore. All right, Jeff. From now on, Tombstone's out of bounds for you. You set one foot in town before Ashley leaves, I'm slapping you in jail. <laughs>
believe me, Hollister. I didn't expect all this fuss. I was only trying to protect myself against Harper. I'm 55 years old, Hollister. Life becomes more precious to you as you get older. Harper is 24. Don't you think life's precious to him, too? Well, it's a doggy dog world. I know if there's any real trouble, you'll take care of it. Thanks. Stage is pulling in. I hear the smart money is betting that Ashley won't be taking it. Well, boys, do I take the stage or don't I? 30 bucks says Ashley don't take it. 60 bucks says he does. You all ready? May I have my guns, please? Certainly. You just made yourself a big mistake, Sheriff. Something wrong, Ashley? There were bullets in these guns when I gave them to you. Oh. Buy yourself a new supply in Tucson. Let's go. Step aside, Sheriff. I've got some unfinished business with Ashley. You're wasting your time, Jeff. There are no bullets in his guns. Get out of the way. I'm telling you the truth, Jeff. You're through telling me anything. Now step aside. Look, there's no point in challenging an unarmed man. Look, for the last time, I don't want to shoot you down, too. Satisfied, Caswell? Earned my paycheck this month? That was pretty neat shooting, Sheriff. Well, I've had five years more practice than you have. Is you gonna need this in California? Yeah, I probably would. That's why I've decided to stay here. I guess it's better to bury feuds instead of men. Will you join us in a drink at the Oriental? No, thank you. That doesn't come out of the heading of official business. Hollister, you're getting to be as hot-tempered as I am. I never saw you beat anybody the way you beat up Ashley. What came over you? Well, it's easy. Every time I hit Ashley, I uh, thought about you. I guess I deserve that. Let's go down and get that drink and see if we can get to know each other. 
Well, Harris, what's your new headline for next week's epitaph? It's three days till deadline. Knowing you, I think I'd better just wait and see. <laughs>